Dear students, welcome to 25th online class of control system engineering. In last class, we studied about controllers through which we can change the specification of a control system. And we studied PI controller or proportional integral controller which was made up of active components and was used to reduce the steady state error of the system to zero. Dear students, after this lecture, you will be able to design a controller which will improve a steady state error of a system by a factor. Dear students, contents of this lecture are lag compensator. A lag compensator is made up of passive components. Dear students, the ideal integral compensation with its pole on the origin requires an active integrator. And if we use passive networks, the pole and zeros are moved to the left close to the origin as shown in the figure. This placement of the pole although doesn't increase the type of the system, but it gives us improvement in the static error constant over an uncompensated system. Students, if, friends, if we use active networks, we can place a pole at origin through which we can improve the type of the system and hence we have zero steady state error. But using passive networks, we can't place pole at origin and indeed it is and indeed it is placed near to the origin and steady state error is improved with respect to that of uncompensated one the figure represents compensator pole and zeros which are placed near to the origin origin and transfer function for the lag controller Students, now we will demonstrate the improvement in steady state error for a system of type 1. If you look at figure A, we have a type 1 system and we have to improve its steady state error. Its static, static error velocity constant will be given by kv0 and will be equal to product of gains multiplied by zeros location divided by poles. Now if we assume that we have added a lag compensator whose transfer function was studied from last slide, now the new static error velocity constant will be given by kvn and will be equal to gain k product of zeros divided by product of poles and this will be multiplied by compensator 0 over compensator pole. The compensated system is shown in the figure B. Students, now we will study the root locus of both compensated and uncompensated systems. The uncompensated system root locus is shown in the figure A. Now we assume a point P to be the to be the location of dominant pair of pole. And after adding the lag compensator which adds pole and zeros together close to each other so that angular contribution of the compensator pole is nearly cancel is nearly cancelled out by the angular compensation of the compensator zero. And the net angular contribution added up by the lag compensator to the point P is approximately 0 degrees. In figure B, figure B, a compensator has been added and point P is still approximately the same location 
on the compensated root locus. Students, after inserting the compensator, we find out that gain K is virtually the same for both compensated and uncompensated systems because the length of the vector drawn from the compensator pole and zeros are approximately equal and all other vectors have not changed appreciably. Now we will study improvements in steady state error. Since we establish that gain K is same for both compensated and uncompensated networks, so if we relate the static error constant of both network, we will come to result that static error constant of compensated network is equal to static error constant of uncompensated network multiplied by the ratio of compensator 0 over compensator pole and it will be greater than static error constant of uncompensated system or we can say that improvement in static error constant of compensated system over the static error constant of uncompensated network is ratio of the magnitude of compensator 0 to the compensator pole. Now in, now in order to keep the transient response unchanged, we know that compensator pole and zero must be close to each other. And the only way the ratio of compensator zero to pole can be large in order to give us appreciable improvement in steady state error. And simultaneously, we have the compensator pole and zero close to each other. Now to minimize the angular contribution is to place the compensator pole and zero near to the origin. Dear students, in the given example, we have to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10. If the system is operating with a damping ratio of 0.174 students the system is similar system is similar to the example of pi controller students from g of s the system is of type 0 and for step input it will have a finite steady state error from last example the system operating at desired operating at desired damping ratio of 0.174 have a steady state error of 0.108 and static error position constant is equal to 8.23 now the example required sample required 10 fold improvement in the steady state error so our required steady state error will be equal to 0.0108 and now corresponding to this error, we will find static error position constant value, value from the relation of steady state error. Now rearranging and solving for the position constant, we found that the value of static error position constant corresponding to steady state error of error of 0.0108 equals 91. Dear students, now we know that in lag compensator, the steady state error is improved by a factor. And this improvement corresponds to changes in the static error constant. Now, the improvement in static, er static error position constant for this case will be the ratio of static error constant from compensated to uncompensated one will be equal to the ratio of compensator zero to compensator pole 
or we can say that 91.59 divided by 8.23 the ratio of compensator zero to compensator pole is equal to 11.13 now if we choose the com compensator pole at minus 0 0.01 we found that a compensator zero will have a location of minus 0 0.111 and the transfer function of the compensator is represented in the, in the figure. Now we will compare the compensated system with the uncompensated system by sketching the root locus for compensated one. Dear students, the figure represent root locus for the compensated system. In this root locus, we will draw a radial line which corresponds to damping ratio of 0 0.174. At, at this line, we will search for location where root locus intersect the radial line of constant damping ratio. And that will be our desired location for closed loop system poles. And this point of intersection is minus 0 0.6 0 0.678 plus minus j 3.836 with a gain of 158.1. The third pole of closed loop system is found at minus 11.55, which is far away, which is far away from the dominant pair of pole. And fourth pole is found at minus 0 0.101, which is near to the compensator 0 at minus 0 0.111. The fourth pole of the compensated, the compensated system cancels its zeros, and the third pole is far away from the dominant pair of pole. This leaves the remaining three closed loop pole of the compensated system very close in value to the three poles of uncompensated system system and hence the transient of both system are approximately the same dear students the figure represents the step response of compensated and uncompensated system and the steady state error and the location of poles for compensated for compensated and uncompensated system are summarized in the table given the steady state error for uncompensated system equals 0 0.108 where that of compensated system is 0 0.011 Now if any of you have any questions please ask